Hey guys, Mike Martinez, and today we're going to talk about a conversation that I had yesterday with one of my Facebook friends, and maybe you'll find some value in there, so don't go away, we'll be right back. Hey guys, Mike Martinez. If this is the first time you're landing on this channel, on this uh, website, if you're looking at this through my blog site, make sure you, you bookmark it. If you're landing on it on, on my channel on YouTube, make sure you subscribe. Now, here's a, and, and please keep in mind, I want to hear your comments and your feedback on all these things. If you like it, make sure you give us a thumbs up. But here's Here's what I'm going to tell you. Yesterday I had a, I did a post a live on Facebook, and it was about you know um, you know facing uh, bad times and 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 how your true self comes out and and you know and, and, and things like that. You know how to how to go out there and, and give your best foot when you're feeling the pressure of, of the times that we're living in. And uh, and so I got I got uh, somebody that reached out to me on the phone. And said, you know, Mike, really enjoyed that that message. And you know what? You're 100% right. Uh, I'm going to start working towards putting my business together. And and you know, and I'm and I'm saying, whoa, that's great. You know, this is good stuff, right? And then all of a sudden, I don't know what happened, but the conversation just kind of shifted, and he started coming with, you know, but. The reason why I haven't done it is because of this and that and this. And he came up with, I don't know, maybe 10 or 12 different reasons why he was not able. You know, he, he's afraid of the risk and uh, what if he fails and, uh, you know, he had a tough upbringing and, uh, you know, his parents treated him this way and a whole bunch of different things. And initially, you know, I was like... Okay, well, you know, yeah, I, I know it's risky, but you know, that's what business is, and that's why when you win, you win big, because if you're willing to take the risk, then, you know, but then he went on to another excuse, and I, you know, try to deflect that and try to give my input to that, try to help him, encourage him, and he went into another one, and he went into another one, went, went into another one, and finally I said, you know, and I'm not going to mention his name, because I, I, he may be looking at this, but I said, you know, um, it seems to me as if you're fighting for your limitations. Are you fighting for your limitations? No, 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 Mike, don't get me wrong because of this and that. And, and then he just kind of went back to the, the limitations again. No, 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 but you don't understand. My situation is different because blah, 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 right? And here's what I want to tell you guys, you know, you could look at, at, at those things and I'm not anybody to say that those limitations aren't real for him I don't know maybe they are maybe he had a tough upbringing maybe his parents treated him this way I don't know um, and, and if he's saying it probably probably so right but here's the bottom line if you continue to focus on that does that empower you or does that empower the limitations it empowers the limitations so when you're empowering the limitations, when you're fighting, and that, that was, you know, it just came to me, but, you know, why are you fighting for your limitations? Why was he, right? It was like he was more comfortable with the limitation than having the freedom to say, you know what, I'm going to go beyond that, right? And that's what all of us need to do because we could all have, we could all look at a situation in many different angles. And when you look at it at a different angle, you could come up with a limitation. You could come up with a with a, a, a an obstacle, a block, a reason why it ain't gonna work, a reason why it's risky. We can all come up with those things. The other thing that I noticed, and I, I really kind of didn't get to tell him, but I, I I noticed, you know, after thinking about the conversation we had gone and. Uh, 
the conversation was over, but I, thinking about it, I kept thinking about it for a while. And although, you know, uh, these things seem unique to that person, everybody goes through their own stuff. Everybody has a unique way that they grew up. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not good. Dysfunctional families is a common thing, right? And I don't know, maybe you had a functional family, but dysfunctional families, uh, those things happen. Dad was an alcoholic, my dad was an alcoholic, right? Uh, uh, you know, uh, maybe whatever, whatever problems you come up with, you think, oh no, Mike, no, 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 you don't understand. Uh, this is why I can't succeed. But everybody has their own excuses. Everybody has their own their own life stories. And you either focus on the story or you focus on how to make it better, how to change it, how to change that destiny, how to change the projection, right? Because you could go straight down, right? You could blame going straight down and, you know, who am I to say, no, you're right, going straight down is, I mean, that's a logical conclusion. After that upbringing, oh, I would have gone straight down too, right? You could say that. Or you could say, you know, I had this terrible upbringing, but this is my goal. My goal is so big right now, it's so energizing, it's so huge, that I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to find the right mentors, I'm going to find the right book, I'm going to find the right yeah, trainers, I'm going to find the right strategy and make it happen, right? Each and every one of us has that ability. Very few take, take advantage of that, but we all have that ability. So I want to hear your, your comments on that. Give me a comment on, you know what, everybody's life experience is different, and, you know, you can overcome. Or maybe you feel that you can't. Some things are just so bad, Mike, there's no way I can overcome. But here's what I'm going to tell you guys before we leave. This is what I want to leave you with. Energy flows where attention goes. That means where you focus your attention. If you're focusing your attention on the past and on the bad things that happen and on the, on the negative and on the risk and on the problems and on the limitations, that's what you're going to produce more of. You're going to attract more of that to yourself. But when you create a big dream, when you create a big goal and you go out there and say, I'm going to go for that. Man, that thing is so huge. It's, it's crazy. I don't know how I'm going to do it, especially the way I grew up. I grew up in the, in the ghettos of Brooklyn. I grew up with no, no father. I grew up with an alcoholic father. I grew up with whatever, whatever your story is. But if your goal is so big and so exciting and so attractive that that's where you obsess with, that's where your focus is. Energy flows where attention goes. And it's just a matter of shifting. Shifting the attention. So I'm telling you, you could. You could whine and cry and, 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 and fight for your limitations. Or you could create a big dream. You can create a magnificent obsession. And you can find a way to make it happen. You know... Not just here in America, and we got plenty of success stories here in America, unusual, incredible success stories, but all around the world, we have stories of, of situations and, and, and circumstances that were inexplainable, un unbelievable, and people have succeeded. So it's up to you. It's up to you to make that happen. It's up to you to focus your attention on that big goal that you want. That exciting goal. And if it's not exciting enough and it's not big enough, make it bigger. Make it exciting. Right? You can do that. It's, your, it's up to you. My name is Mike Martinez. Again, if you like this message, hit the like button. Share this message. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And don't forget, it's your time to shine. I'll speak to you next time.